Mohsin Hamid, the reluctant fundamentalist. Summary and analysis of chapter 1st. This chapter opens with two characters, Changez and the white man, sitting in a cafeteria for tea in the district of old Anarkari, Lahore. Changez is from the elite class, Lahore in Punjab, and having in a dramatic monologue with the white man. Changez highlights that it is the white man's white complexion which is opposite to his dark complexion. That makes him an American. This is the bottom line issue reflected in the novel by Mohsin Hamid. Changez narrates that it was his dream to secure a place in Princeton. The dream came true. Moreover, he assures the white man that he needs not to be frightened by the beard Changez wears. Changez then flashes back to his active, meritorious and healthy experience in America at Princeton as a student. He also discusses his excellent educational and financial background of his prosperous family and his painstaking entry into the Underwood Samson and American valuation firm. Mohsin Hamid, the reluctant fundamentalist, analysis of chapter 1st. The analysis is mainly divided into stylistic and thematic analysis. Stylistic analysis. The technique of dramatic monologue in autodegetic narrative. The technique of dramatic monologue is used throughout in the novel. What is dramatic monologue? Briefly explaining, it is a type of conversation in which there is a single speaker who speaks to a silent listener. The presence of a silent listener makes dramatic monologue opposite to soliloquy, where there is no listener. In the similar fashion, we see Chinggis is speaking and the white man is a silent listener with significant facial expressions, nodding and meaning-making physical movements. The reason behind Mohsin Hamid's use of dramatic monologue is that the author wants to explicate the 9-11 incident from the perspective of a single Pakistani guy on the behalf of millions of other Pakistani. Moreover, Mohsin Hamid uses auto-degetic narrative technique. What is it about? Auto-degetic is a kind of narrative technique in which a narrator himself or herself is a part of the story. He or she is a character in the storyline. So, look at the novel. Changez narrates the story and he is the main character in the novel. T symbol. As the novel opens, Changez presumes that the white man is in quest of perfect tea. At the time of publication of this novel, T symbol was neither significant nor known. But now it carries a significant symbolic notion. To cut it short, it symbolizes peace and freedom. T symbol becomes significant after the arresting of Abhinandan, Indian wing commander, when he says that tea is fantastic. Imran Horn released him in a peace gesture. After reading the whole novel, one would come to know that Changez has been a terrible victim to American prejudice. But still, right in the first chapter, he is in a very positive manner with the white man. As a matter of fact, he offers the white man tea. Therefore, after researching, one can explore the tea as a symbol of peace and freedom. Thematic Analysis Beard is a symbol for terrorism. 
After the incident of 9/11 attack, the West saw beer as a symbol for terrorism. I repeat, symbol for terrorist rather than symbol of terrorist. Because using of would mean that there is a natural connection between beer and terrorism. But this is not the case. The West associated it with the terrorism symbol. So it is a man-made initiative. Us versus them. In the very first chapter of Mohsin Ham is the reluctant fundamentalist. Us versus them decode me and force. Chang's narrative clearly shows that how American has divided the world into us and them. Those who are with America is us, while those who are against America is them. In this connection, Chinggis's narrative unequivocally reflects that he has been remained a terrible victim of this dichotomy. Whatsoever, Chinggis is still impressed by the American ideology. This is a crucial point. post-colonial elements this chapter implicitly demonstrates post-colonial elements this includes homi k baba's concept of hybridity and ambivalence identity crisis and special politics hybridity is the mixture of two different cultures the character of chungaze illustrates an amalgamation of two contradictory cultural identities western and eastern furthermore ambivalence is the psychological confusion of lurking between two cultural ideologies and identities the narration shows that chungaze is ambivalent whether to adopt western identity or to go on with pakistani one actually it is a mental confusion between what to choose and what 